A request for information, or an RFI, is used to clarify or obtain information not contained in the contract or project documents. It consists of a question assigned to one or more project team members and is seeking an answer. The RFI often links to and references other project items such as drawings, specifications, or submittals. To access RFIs from your project dashboard, click on the Document Control tab in the left column and select RFIs from the Document Control options. The RFIs main page will open, displaying all of the RFIs on your project, and you may need to scroll down to see them all. You can sort and or group the RFIs as you wish. And if you prefer this organization, you can save it as a default view. You can use the Search and Filter panel on the right to show only the RFIs that you want to see. To open an RFI, simply click on its tile or line. When you click on an RFI from the main page, its details will display in the right panel. In this example, the summary information at the top is grayed out and cannot be edited because it has been closed. The RFI consists of a question and an answer. The question also shows a link to a drawing that you can click to open. If you want to view any additional interactions or information, click the Show Details button, or you can click on the full screen icon to expand the RFI across the entire page. Clicking the full screen icon will reveal additional information on the RFI, including comments, impact, and history. Click on the Impact tab to see additional details regarding the possible impact of the RFI in terms of cost, schedule, and drawings. Each area offers a yes, no, not sure option with additional fields to enter cost, days, and to indicate that the drawing has been updated. From the RFI main page, when you click on the plus button, the right panel will display the entry fields for a new RFI. The number will autofill when you save the record in a status other than draft. The status has defaulted to open. Enter a subject. The created and due dates will default to today and seven days in the future, but you can edit this. Choose a discipline. Designate an importance and a location, if appropriate. Designate a responsible company which may create auto entries in the Assigned To field below, where you can also add assignees or courtesy copy project contacts. Enter a question, and if appropriate, you can add a link, in this case to a drawing. When you have made your entries and selections, click Save, or you can click Save and Add Another, which will carry over many of the information fields that you've just entered. Back on the RFI main page, after scrolling down, you'll see the tile for the new RFI. Clicking on the tile will load the basic information in the right panel. You can see its number has been assigned. You can see the assignments and the question that the assignees need to answer. The assignees will receive emails with the question and links to the RFI, and when the RFI is answered, you will see the response in the record. When one of the assignees answers the RFI, the answered RFI will appear on the RFI main page, and as we can see from the blue status bar at the bottom of the tile, the assignee also changed the status to answered. If you need to provide additional information, you can add a comment and an attachment. You may also want to click the expansion icon to enter any impact on cost, schedule, or drawings, if any. If you are satisfied with the answer, 
you can change the status to closed. Creating RFIs one at a time can be very time consuming. You can use the Excel export import function to download RFIs to an Excel file template, modify and add RFIs as needed, then upload the file back into project site. To download and edit an Excel file of your RFIs from the RFIs main page, first click on the Export Import icon in the upper right of the screen and select Export to Excel. The file will download to your desktop and or downloads folder where you can open the file in Excel and add or edit RFIs as needed. Click on the Instructions tab for detailed instructions about modifying and adding records inside the Excel spreadsheet. When you have made your additions or edits, be sure to save the file. Once you've added or edited the RFIs as needed, click on the Export Import icon again in the upper right of the screen and select Update from Excel. The Import Excel file window will open. And after opening a search window and locating the file, you can drag and drop the updated Excel file into the upload window. A confirmation window will appear, reporting the results of the upload. If any errors are found, you can click on the Review Errors button, which will download the file again with the defective RFIs highlighted for you to fix. After fixing the errors, you can save and then re-upload the file, and if the report has no errors, you can click OK to complete the process.